Alright, so in this video we're going to be looking at the Saint Smart DSO Note 2 portable oscilloscope. I'm uh, learning how to use it myself, but I think I got it down pretty good for measuring the uh, output and capacitor changes of this 555 timer in a stable mode. So we have a 5 volt power supply there, powering the rails. This is battery powered, uh, rechargeable battery inside of it. You can charge it with the USB. So in any case, the LED is flashing uh, pretty quickly, much faster, and it's going to look like a solid uh, light. So in any case, I'm also testing out how well the camera picks that up. So I think it's doing an okay job right now. So now here's the front of it while it's off. We have one probe. We're going to plug it into channel A right there. And then uh, power buttons on the other side and the USB for charging it. And uh, I think you can transfer data with it is uh, right there. And the other end of that cable there is the uh, probe. So we're going to connect this to ground, which I'm going to just clip to the uh, capacitor here where it plugs into the uh, negative rail. Then we can take our measurements with the probe. So now let's turn the uh, meter on. There we go, it's uh, loading and stuff. And it's all ready to go. So now we're at the settings where, uh, at least for me, this is where it always starts at. So we have the blue line and the uh, yellow line. So the blue line is going to be the channel A. So let's see what we get when we attach to there. So you can see that it is flickering around. And uh, first off, let's uh, go down here. Let's uh, look at to change the uh, page there. So you can slide up here. This was a little tricky. Now we're at page two. And we'll slide page three. Let's zoom in a little. There you go. That's probably a better uh, place to hold this right now. So we got page three. And we'll go back to page one. So now let's go to time base. So that's 0 0.2 milliseconds. So it is. There we go. So M pops that up based on where you're highlighted. And M, M down there, gets rid of it too. So it takes a little while to get used to uh, using this. And I'm at kind of an odd angle. So 0.2 milliseconds. Let's uh, increase that time to uh, 5. That may still be good, 5. So let's plug it on there. So now you can see kind of a square waveform because this LED is either turning on or off. So we're going from 0 volts to probably about four and a half volts or something about five volts so and let's increase the time base even more 20 milliseconds so that should look quite a bit better so now you can see the waveform going a little bit better so that's doing how long of a time it is going across the screen and it's taking measurements from time to time and outputting them so now you can see First off, let's get rid of that uh, yellow line. So we're going to go up to channel 2 there. Hit M. And then it says enable on. We're going to go down. Oops. And turn that off. There we go. Now the yellow line is gone. So let's go up to uh, channel 2 now. Because you see the bottom here that's where the LED or the LED is off but the output is also off that's what we're actually measuring the voltage at the output and how it's changing so we uh, when it's off that's zero volts that's the same as the clip there that we have to ground and so we want that more in the center so we're gonna go up to channel A that's the one that's attached to where the probe is so with that channel B, we could have had another probe there and took other measurements. But in any case, go to channel B, hit M there, and uh, you can see it says AC, DC. It's set for AC. So let's go down. Change that to DC. So now you can see it kind of 
did that in the middle of a reading and uh, there we go it updated again so that's more centered now so we know that's zero volts and uh, I gotta figure out how to get that up towards the line but in any case there you go so this says two volts so each one of these squares is uh, two volts we can also change that to uh, one volt all right so now we went to uh, page two remember again you just kind of swipe here uh, so we have frequency there so we should get the frequency down there we're not getting the duty to uh, pop up that's down there I'll uh, I'll show these measurements right there and so for frequency I think we should have uh, 9,000 about 9,000 Hertz right, or 9 Hertz I mean right there it says uh, 4.61 I don't know if you can see that so it takes a little while for it to uh, refresh from its readings but uh, all right, I'm gonna hold there but in case there we go 9.09 .09 Hertz and so I used a calculator for uh, 555 timer a stable mode and it gave me the frequency and the duty we should have about 66 percent duty we're not getting anything so it's yellow right there so I think it's measuring channel 2 so let's go to uh, duty here press M and uh, on there it says source channel B so I meant channel B not channel 2 so let's change that to channel A and it says up there 66 percent now there and there's some other things you can change there right now it's measuring uh, duty but uh, in any case that's going to be important for the uh, video that I'm going to do 66 percent there and the frequency right there so it looks like it needs to refresh though uh, two or three times before you get the uh, frequency okay so that's really uh, the end there we will turn this back on and you'll see it goes back to its original settings we also have the uh, play pause there so if you really like something onto the display I think you just hit that and that will hold it and so now to turn it off hold that down we get some options we can power off and save uh, or to exit it you just press that again but we're going to hold the power button down and uh, the power off only is the play pause button there so that's it for this video I'm working on a very detailed video on the a stable multi vibrator circuit there and of course to be detailed you want to capture the waveforms and stuff on there especially when you have the LED flashing so fast that it just looks like it is on so hopefully uh, this video will help me improve future videos and uh, cut down time to explain what I'm do doing with the uh, oscilloscope here in those videos and stuff but uh, hopefully uh, you still learned a lot about this. I'm just learning how to use this tool. I haven't used oscilloscopes uh, hardly at all before. So I got this portable one for $95. This Saint Smart DSO Note 2. And it does everything that I really need it to do for now as a beginning electronics hobbyist. So I think uh, at $95, that's a lot cheaper than the uh, more professional type oscilloscopes and I think it's gonna do all you need for a long time and then you risk damaging a $95 scope instead of a multi hundred dollar scope thanks for watching